biggest challenge is that there are four groups of people involved in the operation of any imaging modality. There are technologists who take the images, there are the radiologists who interpret the images, there are the vendors who make the imaging equipment, and then there are medical physicists like me who come in and make various tests and make sure that the systems work properly. And I think the biggest challenge is that all these four groups of people live in their own little universes, they have their own language, and they really don't speak a lot to the other ones. And if I had a magic wand and I was going to improve the way we use imaging equipment, it would be trying to integrate these four groups of people so that they speak and understand what each other's issues are. And I think as a collective team, they would do a much better job than they do at the moment. I, I would say there is a role for technology to some extent, but I, I would put that down as a secondary um, uh, uh, role, uh, maybe 20-25%. I think the educational aspect is by far the most important one. It's getting the uh, people who are ordering the exams to better understand what they should be asking for. It's getting the people who uh, interpret the exams to have a better idea of how much radiation they're using and how much they need to use. And getting the technologists to be aware of the various changes and options that are available. Uh, one of the problems, if you like, of digital imaging is that if you use too much radiation, you're just not aware of it. Um, you can't look at an overexposed image and say, wow, I used too much radiation. Whereas in the age of film, you'd use too much radiation, it would be all black and you couldn't see anything and you knew that you'd made a mistake. Digital technology is much, much more forgiving. And so I think it's important that all the people involved appreciate what they are actually using, look at the numbers that are being provided and understand how to interpret them. And I think that's something new and it's something that people will have to learn to uh, 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 do effectively. One of the things that I, I will address is what I think vendors um, uh, need, need to provide and I divide it into um, a range of things. I think that there are certain things that imaging vendors must tell the users of the equipment and to me that boils down to how much radiation you threw at the patient and what kind of radiation was it and to me you must provide that information. You could do more than that. You could say well if you're doing a chest radiographic exam, uh, we believe that this amount of radiation is reasonable, this amount of radiation would be too much, and this amount of radiation would be too little. And so I think you could put those numbers into a context, taking into account the characteristics of the patients and what you're actually trying to look at. The diagnostic task, I think, is extremely important. So those, I think, you could legitimately say, well, they should be uh, provided. You could compare the amount of radiation that was actually thrown at this patient with what you believe is an appropriate amount. I think you could go one step further and provide conversion coefficients and say, well, if you throw this amount of radiation at this body region for this particular individual, you can convert it into radiation doses and you could in fact go one step further and go on to radiation risks as, as well. And I think the infrastructure and the scientific knowledge for doing all of this is beginning now to fall into place.